For more than 40 years, the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence have appeared dressed as nuns to advocate for LGBTQ plus rights and raise money for AIDS and HIV-related causes. When the Los Angeles Dodgers baseball team announced the group would receive its Community Hero Award this month, some community members like Diana Iger objected, taking part Saturday in a Beverly Hills Freedom Rally supporting Donald Trump for president, Iga, who lives in Los Angeles, says the Sisters Act would not appeal to fans. Advocating the drag queen for the Dodgers, you know, so I, I think that if you do that, you're hurting your business because most of their people who watch Dodgers games don't want to see drag queens. Florida Senator Marco Rubio, a Republican, wrote to Major League Baseball, questioning whether the sport is inclusive and welcoming to Christians. The Dodgers canceled the award, then felt backlash from the LGBTQ plus community and decided to go ahead with their original plan. So we will accept the award very happily. For us, it wasn't about the award. The award was neither here nor there. For us, we do this because we love, I mean, this. I just love this makeup. It's so pretty. I look so pretty. But it's also taking this and then using it to serve people. As U.S. corporations balance the publicity risks of merchandising to Pride Month celebrated this month, Los Angeles resident Greg Donovan says businesses should stay out of politics. I just don't want to have polit politics or whatever you want to say mixed with the food I eat or the, the beer I drink. Or... In April, transgender influencer Dylan Melvini promoted a leading U.S. brewer. This month I celebrated my day 365 of womanhood and Bud Light sent me possibly the best gift ever, a can with my face on it. Beverly Hills Freedom Rally organizer Shiva Begiri says that is offensive. You're dissing women, especially with uh, Dylan Mulvaney. I mean, he's like, for one, day one of being a girl. Do we talk like that? Come on. I mean, it, it makes women look horrible. And Customer boycotts that followed cut Bud Light sales nearly 30 percent, according to the trade publication Beer Business Daily. Not Marketing sure professor um, Joanna Schwartz yeah. says the impact may not be long-lasting. When you know you start having people do pour-outs, uh, they're not people who are necessarily going to be that passionate, um, and even if they are. One of the things that also happens is that this really raises Bud Light's profile among people who are not just LGBT, but also allies. U.S. retailer Target has sold Pride Month products for more than a decade, but is now removing some items from stores over complaints about LGBTQ-themed children's merchandise. Jenny Adulo for VOA News, Los Angeles.